Hi there. So I want to go over how to integrate JIRA and integrate that with Jenkins. So there's some steps to do. First of all, we have to make sure there's an account. And I've been using this um, SVC JIRA account here to uh, to work. So to do this, you have to know the password of, this, of some account on JIRA. The username and password. So I'm using SVC JIRA, meaning a service account for JIRA. And that will update the issues on here. So inside Jenkins, in my last examples, I've had all these uh, jobs or projects on here to build a um, Java-based Tomcat element. So the first thing you want to do is uh, put the secrets the secrets into uh, Jenkins that will be used to log into Jira. So to do that, you would jump on Jenkins here and do manage Jenkins, and then you want to go to credentials. And so for the credentials on here, I did have success um, putting in, let's see where it is, this one here. So this was able to get me logged in. So let's do this all over again. So I will remove this and put it back in to show you how to do it. So let's delete this out of here and get rid of it. So there, that's gone. Now, starting from scratch, let's put in credentials here for the SVC Jenkins account or SVC Jira on the uh, Jira server. So so I had success with, uh, with username and password. And I'll just put in SVC Jira. Just like that. And the password, I'll put in the password that I'm using with this thing. And that's all I need. I can put in SBC Jira. So I'm logging in with SVC Jira username and password on the uh, Jira server. So that will appear here. And now we're going to use this in the global configuration to make the Jira account work from Jenkins. Go back to dashboard. And here we'll go ahead and manage Jenkins again. And we're going to do a configure system. And what you'll find in here is you'll find the Jira plugin down here. So, and let's do that. You have to make sure this Jira plugin's in here before we go too far. So let's not skip ahead. And you got to make sure inside here, manage Jenkins plugins, you want to make sure the Jira plugins in here. So installed. Let's look at Jira plugin. Jira plugin is where this. So you just want to make sure that this is in here. So make sure you have Jira plugin in here. The way Jenkins works is when their plugins installed, you'll see options for the plugins in the actual um, configuration for each project. So this has to be in here. If it's not in here, you want to simply go to uh, Available and search for Jira. And you'll see a Jira plugin down here, which you can install. Obviously, now it's not here because it's already installed. OK, once that's done, we update the uh, Jenkins Globals with that secret for the password. So let's go back to the dashboard again. And let's go back to configure Jenkins or manage Jenkins. Configure system. And now if the plugin's installed, if the plugin is installed, down here you're going to see the uh, Jira configuration. So you want to make sure this matches your Jira URL. And in my case, it does. Don't put anything here. I'm not sure why that exists, but I don't use it. I click these. They, it worked. And the most important thing here is is to uh, you can click this, click this also. The most important thing here for this to work is to put in this password here. So you can see that since I deleted the old one, it can't find it. So I'll put in this new one here. And that's it. Now, make sure it works by going down here and say 
validate settings. If you get error, it's not working. If you get oh, success, it works. So there's what you want. That's a success. That means it's ready to go. So when that's done, just save it. Okay, so now on the Jenkins side, you need an issue to report to. So you need some type of issue over to here that you can use its issue ID. So I already made an issue here and its ID is Tom1, but eh, let's make another one. So create an issue and I'll say validate. Uh, now the issue it should be something that's it's like a verb. Let's say build Tomcat. Um, build and deploy. Because that's what I've been doing here. So let's hit enter. And it made that issue. And I'm trying to find my new issue here. There's the issue, Tom2. So yeah, I did make that and it updated it to Tom2, which is interesting. So unassigned, I'll assign it to myself. There it is. So now here's this issue. So what you want to find is this little ID, which is three, uh, three letters and a dash and a number. So copy down this Tom2, because that's what you need to link into Jira to make it run. So into Jenkins, I'm sorry. So now we're back in Jenkins and we want to make sure this issue on Jira, this Tom2 build and deploy Tom Hello world, we want to make sure this will actually um, be updated from, from Jenkins. So in Jenkins, we have the credential done. You've seen that. We've installed the Jira plugin. So now we want to update these builds. So the first build that runs here, and I could do this in any order here, but this is the first build that runs. So I can click on this build here, do a configure on it. And now down at the very bottom, you can add this. So down here, this is actually a uh, post action. So. You'll now see if the Jira plug is installed, you'll see an option here for Jira. Update relevant issues. So that's there already. And let's see, it should appear here. And it's here. Okay, so you wanna change this default selector, which isn't real useful to me anyway, to an explicit selector. And there we're gonna put in Tom too. And you, you want to do this for each of your builds, each of your jobs, or each of your uh, projects that are relevant to this issue. So we got that in there. Let's go back to our dashboard. So we build this one first, and then we deploy Tomcat demo to prod. No, then we actually do a push the artifacts. This is my second job. Doesn't matter in what order we do these, but I'd like to be complete and how they run. So we're going to now jump in this again and do a configure. Do the same thing down here at the very bottom. And we know that we want to have a, well, that one was pretty correct. We'll put in Tom2 and we'll save it. Let's go to our next job here, or, or project. So we're going to containerize, let's see, deploy to prod. Yeah, that's our third one. So let's change this one. Do a configure on it down to the bottom and explicit and we'll say Tom2. And now realize that this is only really here because down here in post build, um, I did select this um, Jira update relevant issues. So you have to have that selected first. Don't forget that. Okay, and the last piece of this process, this little pipe here was to do a um, containerize. So let's take a look at that and make sure we got all these. I wonder what if I got this one working here. Let's double check this one here. 
down the bottom and double check it. Yep, it's all good to go. Let's get the uh, containerized job here. Containerize it. Configure it. Go to the bottom. We'll change this because because we, again we have this selected update Jira is selected. Then we're allowed to uh, make a selection here. Okay, so we have our ticket open on Jira, and I assign that to myself, which was the SVC Jira account. And let's give it a run now on the uh, Jenkins side and see what this thing does. So right now there's nothing really happening with it. Let's go back to dashboard here. And this is a build we uh, start off with is, we do a compile. Build Tomcat job. That's our first job we do here. So let's click this one and do a build. Yeah, and the build should start down here. And you should see the rest of these guys building too, because they, they all chain each other. So let's see them do that. Looks like it's pushing to the repo now. Anyway, on the Jenkins side, let's see what's going on here. Or I'm sorry, the uh, Jira side, this should be triggering, so. Yep, there they go. So you can see now that Jira is updating with the, uh, the builds as they're uh, running here. And I could put a build complete signal in here too, which would be pretty cool. So this containerized job takes a real long time. So that works fine. That's how to really uh, signal your uh, build some working update issue on, on Jira. So that works pretty slick. You could also most likely trigger Jenkins from Jira to produce this build. So you might have some timeline in this uh, issue that has to, has to be um, built. And you can trigger a build from the side over to Jenkins too. And of course, the way that I had this arranged was I was building from a change in my, uh, in my code base. So uh, let's see if I still have that up here somewhere. There's some keys I was playing around with, which don't matter. They're not critical and they don't work. So let me take a look here for, I want to go back to the actual project. And I think I called this thing, it was called, um, if I go back to the GitHub page, So I had this repository, excuse me. This is called Tomcat Hello World. So when you get cloned something, it'll have the same name as the repository. So copy that and I can pop over here and say CV to here. Okay, and now here's my repo. So I could change something in here again and say, And okay. okay, there's my index. And if I was serious about this, this, this is simply a, a Tomcat um, app. And I don't have a very complicated web engine running in here, but I could make something complex and add a real app to this thing that does something decent. And I think I do want to do that. But anyway. I could change this to today is July 18th or something. July 16th, I guess it is. If I was smart, I'd put the date in there. And I could say something like this. Um,
New Jenkins 2, Jira, build status. So we're celebrating that, aren't we? And again, the run through how this thing will work when we do a commit. And what we should be doing really is, 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 is checking a branch out, fixing it, and then merging it back in, having a build happen. I shouldn't be building from main, but that's what I've been doing here. So anyway, once we uh, start this thing to push over to uh, GitHub, we'll get a build again. Here's my status. We know we changed that. Added line to index. JSP on just like that. And of course, you want to put an M in here for message because you don't want to do the editor if you don't have to. I don't like nano, and that's how it is. And I don't like BI either, but wow. So I ended up going back in nano here. Uh, where did I end up here? I actually blew out of my session here, which is pretty embarrassing. So what did happen here? I ended up going there somehow. That's one problem with shortcut keys is you can really hose yourself. All right, so let me go back to where I was and fix this. I think that was called Tomcat Hello World. Okay, what did I call it? Tomcat Hello World. Ha! Huh. I wonder if I actually uh, deleted it. It seems like I'm an application CD slash users. JFall CD to here. Okay, now, where was I five minutes ago? Um, anyway, I'm not sure why I did that. Probably the arrow. And let's put the M in this time. Yay. Boy, you know, you can tell it's Friday. Nothing's going well. Git commit. So let's get this order correct here. It's been a long week, people. Yay. Okay, so once I do this git add, this ought to fire up a build for us here. So let's keep our eye on Jenkins here. And you can see these builds have all happened seven minutes ago. So now let's... Fire this off. There it goes. And you'll see a build fire up here. Where, yep, there it goes. So this will go through the whole build again. And you'll see that um, once this is built, you'll see that it'll update Jira. So complete CI CD pipe running here. Looks like that one's done. 
And sure enough, it is done. So let's update this issue here. And let's see, yep, there it goes. Success. So these will plunk along and you will see uh, Jira getting updated as these finish. Looks like there's been three of them finished now and we're gonna be doing the containerize. Which reminds me, I gotta get this containerize working on a uh, Kubernetes cluster. So I gotta build the cluster and maybe that'll be next. And here we go. Integrated to prod, that's good. So if we went to prod, let's check out our production server and see what happened with it. Let's do that. There it is, and there's the production server. And there's our message. So production, in our traditional old fashioned production server is working fine. Um, I want to get the uh, containerized version that's working on a Kubernetes, Kubernetes cluster. So that'll be next. And I think we're still building this thing, building the uh, container. Yeah, the container takes a long time to build. So it's still going to be working on that. You can see the little thing here chugging along. It's working. So that's about it, people. Thanks for watching. Again, this is how to get Jenkins to uh, talk with Jira and update uh, issues on Jira. So uh, again, here's our new issue called Tom2. And I guess that the build worked. We could resolve it as complete. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.